The Javelin and Enla has decimated Russian tanks in Ukraine during Russia's invasion. But would the M1A2 V3 Abram fare any better against the Enla and Javelin? The M1A2 Abram is a much bigger tank than Russia's counterpart, weighing almost 50% more and costing also a lot more. The Abram has around 1 meter of rolled homogeneous steel armor equivalent of protection in the front. During the Iraq war, insufficient protection of the side hull and turret was apparent, as side attack from anti-tank round would often be a threat in urban environment. That led to the Tusk or the Tank Urban Survival Kit, which added explosive reactive armor and tiles on the side, greatly improving side protection. The Enla or Next Generation Light Anti Tank Weapon System is a short range, fire and forget, predictable line of sight anti tank weapon, which can shoot direct attack mode or overfly top attack mode against main battle tanks. The Javelin is a long range fire and forget tandem charged anti-tank weapon system, being able to fire in direct attack or top attack mode, while the Abram has an effective armor in the front and side. What makes the Javelin and Enla so effective is their top attack mode. The Enla's overfly top attack fires and explodes around 1 meter over the target, sending a shape charge down on top of the tank's roof. The Javelin with top attack sends the missile up to then dive down on top of the tank. What makes this system so effective is their penetrating power applied onto the weakest part of the tank. As efficient protection adds a lot of weight, the most vulnerable or highest hit probable area is most heavily protected on a tank. The front section of the tank is most likely to be hit in a tank battle, which is why it is so heavily protected. As urban fighting has become more common, site protection has increased. But since all of this adds weight, Adding sufficient protection in the back and on the top makes the tank too heavy to move or be effective, which result in limited protection on the top and back. The Enla and Javelin attacks the weaker top section, which often has lower than 300mm of armored steel equivalent of protection. The Enla attacking at a 90 degree shaped charge can penetrate over 500mm of armored steel and is effective against explosive reactive armor. The Javelin missile has a tandem charge, meaning two warheads are used, one for detonating any explosive reactive armor and the main shape charge, making penetration well over 800mm of armored steel, more than enough even with an angled attack from the top. So even a more protected modern Abrams tank can't stand up against the Enla and Javelin. That's all I had for this video. Please like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.